A parvenu is a person who is a relative newcomer to a socio-economic class. The word is borrowed from the French language, it is the past participle of the verb parvenir to reach, to arrive, to manage to do something. Origin The word parvenu typically describes a person who recently ascended the social ladder, especially a nouveau riche or new money individual. The famous Margaret Brown, who survived the Titanic sinking in 1912, was portrayed as a new money individual in the climbing social classes musical The Unsinkable Molly Brown because of her impoverished Irish immigrant roots and lack of social pedigree. The Oxford English Dictionary defines a parvenu as a person from a humble background who has rapidly gained wealth or an influential social position, a nouveau riche, an upstart, a social climber. Also in extended use. Generally used with the implication that the person concerned is unsuited to the new social position, especially through lacking the necessary manners or accomplishments. The term designates individuals not socially accepted by individuals already established in their new class. It expresses a form of classism. Topic. Social climber A social climber is someone who seeks social prominence, for example by obsequious behavior. The term is sometimes used as synonymous with parvenu, and may be used as an insult, suggesting a poor work ethic or disloyalty to roots. Topic. Examples. Several examples might include athletic and entertainment professionals born and raised in poverty and suddenly finding themselves with significantly higher income due to their newfound celebrity status. Established royal families of Europe regarded the Bonaparte family as parvenu royalty. Napoleon III tried to marry into Swedish and German royalty, but was unsuccessful because he was a parvenu. This was also said to be the case with the marriage of Egyptian Princess Fazia to the future Shah of Iran, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. One of the reasons speculated for their divorce is that Fazia's family, including King Farouk I, viewed the Pahlavis as parvenus. Though the Muhammad Ali dynasty of Egypt and Sudan, to which Fazia belonged, had humble beginnings, it had solidified its status in Egypt and the Arab world since 1805. In contrast, the Pahlavis were a far more recent dynasty, owing their position entirely to the coup d'état of Muhammad Reza Pahlavi's father, Reza Khan, in 1921. Many parvenus in the United States arrived there as poor immigrants, then worked their way up the social ladder. Beginning as laborers, they took advantage of better economic opportunities in the U.S., moving on to become civil servants, white-collar, business, office workers and finally members of respectable society. Such an example might be John Jacob Astor, whose family once skinned rabbits for a living. With his brother, he went on to build such icons of New York City as the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. His grandson moved to England, where he eventually became the first Viscount Astor. In the 19th century, the French aristocracy viewed Jewish women who converted to Christianity upon marriage as parvenus. Professor Catherine Nico of the University of Reims Champagne Ardennes has argued that this exemplified the way in which the French aristocracy was hostile toward Jews. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Literature. In the novel Enigma Otelier by Romanian writer George Calinescu, Stanica Radiu represents the newly rich. He obtains his wealth by stealing money from a rich old man and by marrying into the elite. In the novel The Great Gatsby, Gatsby represents the newly rich. He obtains his wealth through bootlegging, spends it lavishly, and struggles to gain the acceptance of older money. In the novel The Red and the Black, the provincial protagonist Julian Sorrel thinks of himself as a parvenu after establishing himself in the service of the Marquis de la Mole. In The Cherry Orchard, Gaev regards Lafakin as a parvenu, as many critics interpret his remarks. Pip, from Dickens's Great Expectations, would be considered a parvenu by many. Edmund Dantes is the Count of Monte Cristo in Alexander Dumas' work. John and Alisoon in The Miller's Tale by Geoffrey Chaucer. The Franklin in The Franklin's Tale by Geoffrey Chaucer. Mrs. Bennet, and the Bingleys, in Jane Austen's novel Pride and Prejudice. Philip Elton in Jane Austen's novel Emma. Jane Wilson in Anne Bronte's novel The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. 
Barry Lyndon, the protagonist of the novel The Luck of Barry Lyndon by William Makepeace Thackeray, as well as the eponymous film by Stanley Kubrick The Necklace by Guy de Maupassant tells the story of Madame Matilda Loisel and her husband. Matilda always imagined herself in a high social position with wonderful jewels. However, she has nothing and marries a low-paid clerk who tries his best to make her happy. William Wilson, a short story by Edgar Allan Poe Topic Philosophy Friedrich Nietzsche in the Gay Science Section 176 on Compassion Les Souverains Rangent Ox Parvenus Translated The Sovereign Put Themselves Before the Parvenu. Topic film and television In Miss Potter, Beatrix Potter refers to her parents as parvenus, social climbers after they attempt to prevent her from marrying her publisher Norman Warren since he is a tradesman, despite them coming from a trading background. In Downfall, Adolf Hitler furiously accuses Hermann Göring of being a parvenu. In The Crown, Queen Mary says Prince Philip represents a royal family of carpetbaggers and parvenus. Hyacinth Bucket, the protagonist of the British sitcom Keeping Up Appearances. In Stan and Ollie, Stan Laurel calls Hal Roach a parvenu when he refuses to give them raises. Topic. See also Social mobility Snobbery Hypergamy Topic. References Topic. External links The Dictionary Definition of Parvenu at Wiktionary <laughs>